Hey everybody, this is Steve Toth from SEO Notebook. If you want tips like this every week in your inbox, just go to seonotebook.com and subscribe. Okay, so today's tip is going to highlight a free tool called SERP Analysis by Sandbox. Sandbox is an SEO agency that specializes in UX and they've created a tool that scrapes the SERP and does a bunch of cool things. So let me show you how it works. So you basically put in a uh, keyword like Plumber NYC, which is a competitive term. It's going to run its, uh, it's gonna scrape the SERP and when it's done, it'll show something like this. So it's going to, um, the part that I want to highlight is the schema types, which is super cool. So it's going to show me all of the different schemas that page one results currently have, right? So that is um, very, very cool and um, gives us a whole bunch of information on the types of schema we can create for our clients, right? So basically all you have to do is just open up more data and go to schema types. Some are gonna say un unavailable, some are going to say, you know, this one has breadcrumb list, for example, this one has plumber. And when you click validate schema, it'll open up a window in the schema.org validator that is going to show you that exact type of schema, right? So they're all going to have various levels of information filled out. What I would suggest you do is open a bunch of them and pick the best ones, right? Pick the best information to fill out. So if one has done aggregate rating, that's a great one, right? If another one has done geo coordinates, that's another good one, right? Maybe another one did um, customer service phone number. Those are, you can basically take all the missing elements um, from these different schemas and make your own ultimate schema. So that's uh, pretty much the, the tip. And the one, two things I wanna leave you with, if you can hang on to this video for just a sec, are the idea of doing all the things, right? So when you have a competitive term like Plumber NYC, you literally have to do everything within your power to rank. And that includes developing a very robust schema. And schema is great because it's a one-time effort, right? It's not like backlinks where you have to build them every month or you know build content constantly that earns backlinks. You can just put this schema up and chances are it's going to be pretty evergreen for you. <clears throat> so that's one thing. This is part of doing all the things. And the second is, let's say you're in a small town, right? Smaller town at least, Dayton, Ohio, right? And I look at the schemas that they have here, right? They're going to be um, less robust, right? So there's a lot of data unavailable. Home Advisor, that's a big site. Expertise.com, that's a big site. Um, here we go, complete plumbing, Dayton, no schema. So you might not run into um, that many good results. So what I suggest you do, if you're in a smaller town, don't be Googling your town plus plumber. Go to, go to New York, go to Los Angeles, go to Miami, go to Boston, go to larger cities and check out their schema and then just take the best from what you see and create your own. So that's pretty much the tip for today. Um, I'd encourage you to sign up for this tool. You do have to give your email address, but you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. But before you do that, um, go over to Sandbox and check out Zach and his UX slash SEO agency. Zach is a developer and has created a really, really cool site along with some very cool free tools. So go check them out. Um, they de definitely deserve a big shout out for today's note. Anyway, I will leave it at that. And if you want more stuff like this, just head over to seonotebook.com and subscribe. It's totally free. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.